coaches are good to have my child do before playing basketball, volleyball, or any other sport? There are a couple of things that I think are important to keep in mind. One is uh, I think it's generally considered now that uh, cold stretching, meaning your child isn't warm and they start stretching maximally, is probably not the most effective way to stretch, especially when it uh, comes to protecting your back. Uh, therefore, uh, a gentle warm-up is always a good idea for almost any sport, whether that's some gentle jogging or uh, participation in the sport at a low intensity, just to get things loosened up and to warm up uh, their muscles and everything prior to stretching. Uh, ideally, your child would have a brief warm-up period and then do some stretching and then participate in the full activity. Additionally, there is some benefit uh, to uh, ramping up their activity and once they are warm, a little bit of uh, stretching where they're more aggressively stretching uh, to mimic the activities they're going to uh, be performing, whether it's uh, you know shoulder swinging for volleyball or what have you, uh, those sort of ballistic stretching activities can be useful once the child's already warmed up. The main uh, groups that uh, should be stretched uh, with activities such as basketball and volleyball uh, and many other sports uh, uh, would include the hamstrings, which uh, for most people is one of their tighter areas, and it, it will affect your hips, your back, and all areas of your body. So hamstring stretching is important, as is a stretching of the calf muscles or the gastroxoleus muscles. Uh, those two areas, along with the rest of the uh, uh, hip and pelvis area, are the uh, most important areas for stretching.